What's up? And after a lengthy hiatus, welcome to Ask JP. As always, I am JP. No more time. No more time for joking. Time to get to our question. <clears throat> question has been sent in. We can find it. Yes. Okay. It's a good one. How much sleep should I get if I'm exercising at least three days a week? Well, that's a very good question. And uh, we may or may not like the answer to it because I don't think we are getting the right amount of sleep. I think everyone could uh, attest that they may not be getting the right amount of sleep. So let's take the average person right now real quick. Um, you know, a good effective amount of sleep would be like, you know, seven to nine hours or six to nine hours. Maybe we're getting that, maybe we aren't. That's, that's completely fine. You know, if you're getting like five or we start going below that six level, I think we start to really feel it the next day. You know, that being said, not a whole lot of people are getting eight hours of sleep, which could maybe a happy medium between those six to eight or a six to nine hours rather. So if you are exercising three days a week, uh, I think a safe number with that is going to be somewhere <laughs> between maybe, let's extend it to if you're doing um, maybe three to five days a week. So if you're consistently in the gym, maybe not as a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, maybe you're doing a Monday through Friday, taking Saturday and Sunday off. Right. Seven, somewhere between seven and 11 hours is probably what's going to give you the most added benefit, as in recharging those muscles so you're not waking up every single morning with just a crazy amount of soreness because it didn't get um, that proper recharge at night that uh, it needed. That being said, who has time for 11 hours of sleep per night when we got a 40 hour a week job plus working out potentially three to five days a week? Maybe you got kids, maybe you got uh, extracurricular activities. I don't know. You, everyone's got a busy lifestyle. So, who's got time for 11 hours? If we're getting up at 6 in the morning, does that mean we went to bed at 7 o'clock at night the night before? Probably not. Uh, I'm filming this right now, just a few minutes shy of 6 a.m. I guarantee you I was not in bed uh, as early as I should have been. So, how can we offset that? The easy answer for uh, between this how many hours of sleep should I be getting? If I'm exercising uh, more than three days a week or just three days a week, you know, I think we're looking somewhere. Let's let's kind of offset it. We said I said maybe somewhere between nine to eleven. What if we're getting trying to get somewhere between seven to eight or seven to nine? Now that you know it's not quite eleven, that's still a good amount of sleep, but it's going to be better and more official or efficient rather than five to ten hours of sleep. Because like I said, you know, going below that six and that five hours, we really start going to start feeling it the next day. Imagine how much you're going to feel it the next day if you're not uh, getting uh, more than uh, six hours of sleep and you're on like uh, a rigorous uh, lifting program. So we got to look at it as this. When we're sick, uh, we're, we're probably needing extra rest, right? You're probably more uh, taking some extra naps, uh, probably laying in bed a lot more because the body needs that. It needs to be recharged. It needs to um, you know, fight off infection, whatever it might be. Look at your body the same way. Um, exercising wise look at the muscles how they need to repair after you've uh, torn them down or really worked them out the day or the night before they need to extra they need that extra recharge hence a couple extra hours of sleep per night so you're getting six hours of sleep if you're exercising let's try to bump it to eight now that's going to take some uh, maybe a little bit of dedication a little bit of discipline to get uh, to get those numbers up but if we want to be um, effective in our workouts fully, we can't be running on empty all the time because we're really tired from the day before and not getting enough sleep, right? Okay, that should make sense. So, um, quick and easy answer, maybe somewhere between nine to 11 hours. More realistically, let's try to push it between six to eight, six to nine, uh, something like that, um, based on how many days of the week uh, you're working out. So. Thank you for the question. Uh, we'll keep these. We'll keep these rolling. You keep sending them in. Done.